And this is Modular Pig Pen by Schultz Modding for Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl for this test. And this is a pig pen and it has a few interesting things about it, as you can see. Um, so, first of all, we'll find it under Animals and Pigs. And here it is, the pig pen, 1,000 pig capacity so capacity for a thousand pigs it is five slots on console place it anywhere like that so we have a couple of other things that come with this we have some fences some decoration and a gate so first of all the fence decoration fences There we go. So we have a fence like this, like a um, wire fence. And oh dear, sorry, dip. A wire fence. We also have uh, a different style of wire fence, a little bit larger. Let's go back in there. Fences. And this is the style of the uh, the gate as well. So let's go over here. So that style of fence there, $100 per length. And then we have a gate. Gate is over here, opens like thus. So if you don't want to opening it inside, you have to spin around and place it down the other way. <clears throat> we have some decoration as well decoration and others and uh, not that far there we go so we have a hog hut it's purely a decoration it doesn't serve any other purpose and a water trough you don't need it for water water is automatically supplied but it's a decoration you can set it anywhere you like I would suggest not setting it inside here or any anywhere around here because it will interfere with you trying to put food and straw in Speaking of food and straw, I have run this. So we've run it a month. Uh, the straw capacity is 174. We're going to fill it up. And the food capacity is 1 million. One month ahead. And as you can see, plenty of uh, capacity, food capacity. You're not going to run out anytime soon. Yes, there is one other feature here. This grid is here to show you the extent uh, that the pigs will wander. And it will give you a guide to put your fence around. So once you've done that, you can come up to here and go circle and you can hide that grid and you no longer have to stare at that orange grid there. It will be like thus. Now, food and straw going in. Straw is a very generous area and it does accept bales as you will see here. I will throw a bale here and it will anywhere in this area where you see the straw pretty much will accept straw loose and in bales let's hop in here i have a bunch of straw in this and as i drive through and run over some pigs there's a trigger it pops up right away and it should fill yes 175,000 liters of straw capacity so that's a lot a thousand pigs will take a lot, but as you can see, um, the capacity is just fine for that. Now, food. Food. Uh, where's my... There we go. <clears throat> Pig food. Pig food's a little bit of an issue, I found. It's, v it's kind of tricky. You can uh, deposit it into any one of these food things <laughs> um, but you have to get really close now I understand why you probably or why Schultz modding probably did it that way because you're really supposed to be putting it in to these um, into these uh, recept food receptacles but it's depending on the trailer it could get a little tricky trying to put it in so that's <clears throat> if uh, if one trailer doesn't work, try a different trailer. Uh, that that 
silence silence boss trailer wouldn't the trigger didn't even come up at all so it would be nice if there was a bit of a larger trigger for these feed areas and make it a little bit easier right so there you go million liters of food and straw capacity is 175,000 liters notice there's a slurry capacity and I have it after one uh, month, 65,000 liters of slurry. How do you get the slurry out, you may ask? Well, we have manure. So manure gets produced. You put down the base game manure silo, manure heap, and we have 34,000 liters of manure. No problem there. That is your silos and manure. So the manure heap, this one right here, the one that comes with the base game, the one you use for cows and so forth and so on. Slurry is another matter. Now, there are a bunch of different ways you can do it, but the best way um, to do it, in my opinion, is you need to download the other um, buildable feedlot the buildable feedlot pack by Schultz Modding, the same modder, and that feedlot pack contains these two items here. It contains this. This is a, a slurry storage and a filling area. Now, once you have uh, those, um, those uh, that buildable feedlot lot pack. The filling area is here. This is just basically a fill trigger, and we'll show you how that works. And under silo extensions, slurry storage. So you place that somewhere around the pig barn area. And then you place down the filling area and come by with the tank. Uh, now the storage, the, the slurry storage um, extension or this slurry storage thingy here, this holds 5 million liters. So no, uh, no worries of it filling up too fast. And as we come up to the filling area, we can press L3 and notice there's a milk trigger. Well, you're not going to get any cow or pig milk, but you will get slurry. And uh, there you go. So that is... Um, that is how you get slurry out of this pig, um, uh, the modular pig pen. Now, perhaps he f forgot to add that to this. Um, I would have thought that would have been something added to this modular pig pen. Perhaps it was forgotten. Perhaps it will be added later. I know he does watch my videos, so perhaps that could be coming in an update. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, that you could add, uh, or at least a version of this here to this modular pig pen. That would be nice. That's the only way I know. Well, there are other ways, but that's uh, the easy way I know to get your slurry out of there. So, um, what else? 9.91 uh, megabytes to download. I think I said that, but I'll just say it again in case I forgot. Um, other than that, that's it. So very nice, a thousand pigs in a relatively compact area. And if you don't put any fences on, uh, you can uh, easily get around it. It doesn't take up uh, that much usable space. And uh, there you have it. That's the Modular Pig Pen by Schultz Modding on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.